my channel. This is Swift Wellness. I am Ashley and today for the next 30 minutes we've got a killer lower body workout. We are working all of the muscles of our posterior chain. That's our thighs, our glutes, our hips, you name it, we've got an exercise for you today. Of course, this is a no equipment necessary workout, but I do request that you grab a chair. We're gonna be using that as an added prop today. Of course, bonus points, if you have a set of weights or a mini band, I'll be showing some added challenges that you can incorporate into your workout. And as always, if you don't have 30 minutes, make sure to check out our channel for shorter workouts. And while you're there, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single video we upload each week. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's just start with some big wide squats today. So your feet are just outside your hips. You're just sinking down low, pushing those knees out and stand, we're just warming up to start. Send the hips back, hinging, keeping those knees directly over the ankle. So as you're squatting, I'm just keeping my chest tall, not letting myself round over. Just going again, sending it back and through. Full range of movements. In two, we're gonna hold it down and hold. I just want you to pulse, stay low. Warming up those hips, warming up those glutes. This is a lower body workout today. Staying low in that pulse. Good, you got it. We're gonna go full range again in three, two, and one. Stand it up and down. All the way through that full range of motion. Good, you've got it. Keep working those hips, those glutes. Good and hold it down again. We're just pulsing through, holding again, warming up everything. We're gonna walk it out into a wide squat in just a second in three, two, good. Walk it out wide. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing. Turn your toes out and you're just squatting, bringing it full range. So it's lower and lift, lower and lift. Good. Just warming up again, trying to, Feel that come alive, the core, the hips, the glutes, everything today. Good. Go one more. You're gonna hold this one down and pulse. Pushing those knees back, sit in tall through the chest, roll those shoulder blades back, trying to find that lowest point. Good. And then up and down. One more time through that full range of movement. Good. Down and up. Good, we got two more, then we're gonna walk it down to our mat for the rest of our warm up. It's one, and good. Walk it back to the edge of your mat. We're gonna walk out into our plank, our favorite kind of plank today. We're gonna rock those feet back and forth. Shoulders stack right over hips. Push those toes forward and rock that plank back. Forward and back. Good, holding that core in one line. Don't let those hips rise up or dip to the ground. You're one. Moving line today, forward and back. You've got it, good. We're gonna set it up into down dog in three, two, and one. Send it back, press those hips, warm up those shoulders, and then send it back to your plank. It's up and plank. Good, you've got it. Holding tall here, press and back, good. Now in that plank, I just want you to hold it and pedal out those knees. This is for the end of your warm up. Keep pedaling out through those knees. We're gonna sink back into child's pose. Good, you've got it. Three, two, and one. Drop those knees, sink back. Good, and stand it up. So we're gonna start in a wide sumo today. So if you have weights, you can go ahead and grab them. If you don't, that's okay. Again, just like in that warm up, those toes point out at 45 degrees. I'm gonna sink down into my lowest point, trying to bring those knees directly over those ankles, almost like I'm sitting flat to the ground. So maybe this is my lowest point, maybe it's here, that's okay. You're challenging yourself to push down. So we're down and up, down, up, 
Good, you've got it. Think about really squeezing the glutes at the top, using that side seat, using all the muscles of the glutes as you come down and come up. Down and up, squeeze. On the next one, we're gonna hold it down and just pulse. And we're gonna start to shift from side to side. So right now, just pulse, pull those shoulders back, stay tall, feel the inner thighs, they're burning. We're gonna shift to the left and then to the right. So it's left, right, left, and right. So I'm keeping my hips as low as possible. Don't stand up to the top, find that low point, and you're shifting from left to right. You should feel those glutes and those quads and this really fire up and that inner thigh as you shift from side to side. You've got two more, good. One, good, find that center and you're just pulsing it out. You're still not lifting out of that bottom, staying down at that point. Your thighs at this point should be on fire. I know mine are, they're burning, but we're just pulsing it out. In 10, we're gonna start, we're gonna go full range, flush those legs out in five, four, three, two, all the way up and down. Good, up, down. This is your point to try to get lower on each squat. So it's down and up, down, up. You've got it all the way. Keep going, breathe, down and up. Go, we got one more of our pulses and our side to sides on that next one. Hold it down and we're just pulsing again. Pressing again, feeling those quads Feeling everything light up. It should be challenging to stay at this low point. Good, you've got three, two, shift from side to side, you've got it. If you've got those weights, they're right here on your hips, or if you wanna bring them out to a challenge here, you can hold the weights to your side. A little bit of a shoulder and core challenge through the end of this. Good, you're almost there. Pressing all the way. Your hands are here, your hands are there. Challenge yourself to again, stay low, don't stand it up. Find that center and pulse for three, two, and one. Stand it up, shake it out, feeling those quads today. We're gonna use your chair. So we're using the, our prop today. So it's called a single leg stand up for a reason, which means we're using one leg to stand up. We're gonna build on a sequence of exercises and go through it super slowly with a bunch of modifications. So if you are new to this exercise, I would not have the weights on the first round, but if you want to add them, you can. Here's how it looks. Seated nice and tall, my shoulders, everything stacked. We're gonna start on our left leg, which means my right leg is straight in the air. I'm gonna tuck it behind me and I'm gonna stand up, find that balance at the very top, and then I'm gonna slowly sit back down and then come back up again. So I'm not using any assistance besides the pressure, thinking about pressing through the bottom of my foot as I stand up. So your modification looks like this. Maybe you need the toe for balance. So I'm keeping most of the weight on my standing leg with a little bit of weight here on this toe to give me that balance. So again, here's your modification, or you might have to stand up without the weight of that extra foot. So again, standing up, holding nice and tall, no assistance from that toe, control that sit, or use that toe. That's okay, either one is fine, but don't drop to that seat. Slow it down, sit down nice and tall, and then stand up. Good. So on that next one, we're gonna take that leg that's standing up, that right leg, we're gonna walk it forward, and we're gonna sink it down into a lunge. So again, stay nice and tall, shoulder, hips, and knee all in line. This front knee directly over my ankle. I'm gonna press back, use that toe as balance, and then I'm gonna sit down. So full range, it looks like this. One big step, come back, and sit down. Again, you can use that toe if you need to in between each exercise. Come down, use that toe as balance right here, and then sit down. If you can, try to do the whole thing, challenging your balance, flowing through, Nice and slowly, good. You're really working that left leg, sinking down, coming back up, controlling. So you're avoiding that swing that you might feel right here to push yourself up. 
Think about pushing yourself straight up, just taking one straight step forward, and then coming back to that standing position, and then back down. You've got one more. And then in the bottom of that lunge, I want you to come up. I want you to lean forward. We're gonna take that foot and we're gonna point it into a deadlift and then come back into that lunge. So I'm leaning forward, keeping that knee directly over that ankle and then coming back. So extending that leg long, trying to make myself like a T and then I'm bringing it back down into that lunge. So again, that lunge looks just like this, my shoulder, my hip, and my knee are all in one line. And then when I'm in that position at the bottom of the deadlift, I'm like a T. So again, you're trying to go through this positioning very slowly so that each position feels very intentional. And then hold it up and then come back down. Maybe you're like me and you feel that leg shaking a little bit. That's okay, we're challenging that stability. Thinking about pressing all five fingers, all toes into the mat pressing in so you have one stable balance point today. So on that very next one as I hinge down, I'm gonna hold it back and I just want you to pulse. You're just pointing that toe, keeping it long, thinking about bringing it two inches into the sky and back down. You've got it, press and press. Good. So think about your hips. Your hips might wanna rotate, they might wanna open up. You going to push those hips down so they're both in one line. So when I'm here, they're even, they're not twisting open to the sky. So you're holding it back, pulsing it nice and long. Good, stay strong. And three, we're gonna bring it down, back into that lunge. Good, back into that lunge. You've got it, press all the way through, and then come all the way back. Good, this is your full range movement. Challenging yourself to bring your core and your hips just a little bit lower to the ground each time. Good, you've got one more. Good, and then walk back to that chair. And we're gonna switch to the other side. So on that one, obviously we're standing up with my right leg. So we're gonna switch it. Take yourself, give yourself a second, take a breath. Pick that opposite leg up. You might find that there's one side that's easier for you than the other, that's okay. We are asymmetrical beings. Take that deep breath. You're gonna again step up. This first time you're just seated right back down and then stand up again. Again, challenging yourself not to use your toe if you can help it. And then press up and back down. I definitely have a side that I am much better on. That is this side. So again, don't feel like you need to do it differently on each side. If you need to use that toe again, that's okay. Really focus on just controlling that descent as much as that ascent to the top. Press, good. And back down, good, you got two more. And then you know what's coming. We're gonna take that big step to the next, into that big lunge. Go ahead, take that leg. Come all the way back down, all the way back up. Control that seat again. Press up. One big lunge. Look down if you have to to make sure that that knee stays directly over that ankle, your shoulder. Everything is in line. So you're not hinging forward, pressing that knee. You want to be right here as you press back and then control again that sit down. So it's one big step up. One big lunge, one big step back, find your balance, and then control it down. And when you are seated, make sure that that knee's not flaring out. When you look down, the knee should be directly over that ankle, so it's not going anywhere. So again, taking that step, press, come back. You've got one more, we're gonna hold it down for deadlifts. So press up, take that lunge, now we're picking that leg back up and then we're coming back into that lunge. Good. Press through that foot. Staying again, super tall. Our standing series today is very challenging, but once we get onto the ground, I promise you it's worth it. Good. Again, coming down, finding that flow. 
lifting from the hip, lifting from the glute, using those quads. I know they're tired, but it's okay if you need to tap that toe quickly. That's fine. Whatever you need, you want to come down, sink down into that big deep lunge, and then come up. You've got one more, and I want you to hold it at the top. Again, point that toe long, and it's just a little pulse. Good, you've got it. Hold that core down, hips in line. Don't let yourself rotate open. Those hips point to the ground. You're pulsing that toe. Good. Arms are optional here, here, or back, wherever feels good. If you're feeling like that challenge, you can always grab those weights and hold them here. You can pull them back into a kickback if you really want an added challenge. I'm sure everyone thinks I'm crazy at that point. That's okay. Good, you've got it. You've got three pulses. And then we're gonna come back, take that step, we're gonna bring it down one more time. Full range. Good, this is the last time on this leg and then we're coming to the ground. So hinge forward and back down. Good. And press it all the way up and down. You should feel that quad and that glute, everything in that whole leg working as you're going through that deadlift and into that lunge. So again, you've got that last one. Take it back into that deadlift. Hold it there for three, for two, one. Good, you got it. Come on to the ground now, guys. We're gonna go into a glute bridge press. Couple options. If you have weights, you can go ahead and use them on your hips. If you have a band, that works too. You can go ahead and put that over your knees if you have nothing. That's okay, we've got plenty of challenges today. So taking that chair, taking those heels into the ground, and bringing my hips underneath my knees so that as I press up, I'm squeezing through the glutes, just my heels into the chair, pressing away with my knees, and then back down. So it's an up, press away, back together, and down. If I've got those weights, I've got them right here on my hips. So when I press up and get that extra weight, press out and then down. Of course, that just adds a little bit of a challenge for you today. Whatever feels good, you're working those inner hips, those glutes, those thighs. This is our last really a big glute focused exercise today in the workout. Good, come all the way back down and close. Good, press up. On that next one, I just want you to press up and I want you to press out with those knees. Just think about pressing out with the knees. The hips don't move, they stay pressed all the way up to the sky. Good, you're just pressing out, out. Good, feeling those inner thighs, feeling everything work. Good, you've got three. And then two, we're gonna go full range one more time. It's down and up. Good, it is down and up. Breathe all the way. This is the last thing we're using your chair for today. We'll push it out of the way. Good, you've got three. You've got two. Last one, hold it up. Squeeze, squeeze every little single ounce out of your hips as you press up, 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 and let it down. Tuck your knees into your chest for just a moment. We're gonna push this chair out of the way. Give yourself your whole entire mat to work with. We're gonna go into a kneeling curtsy lunge. So here's how it works. We're gonna start on that left side. I want you to bring that left leg forward like you're in a runner's lunge, hands on either side. You're gonna extend that leg out all the way straight and then you're gonna bend that knee. We're just bending that knee, keeping this front knee directly over that ankle. It's just a bend of the back and a stretch. Bend, good, stretch. You've got it. Holding nice and tall, good. Just keep extending and pressing, feeling that hamstring fire up. Good, you've got three, you've got two, and one. We're gonna bring that chest up, same thing. Bring, bring that knee down, extend. This time we're engaging a little bit more core. Knee, extend. Same knee, bends and extends. Just think about pressing and releasing through this back knee. Press it out and extend, good. 
You've got it holding it strong. We're gonna bring those hands back down. But for right now, you're right here, pulling that chest up, just bend, extend. You should feel those hip flexors firing up. Hands come down on either side. Here's what's gonna happen, that back leg. We're gonna hop it to either side of the mat. So to my left, to my right. Think about really using those glutes and those quads as I hop it from each side of my mat. It's left, right, left, right. So focus on keeping this knee directly over that ankle as you're moving that foot from left to right. If you need to take a little bit of a break, that's okay. Use your core, use that leg uh, power that you have back there, holding those hands for stability and balance. Good, you've got it. We've got three, and then we're gonna switch legs. Two, good, and last one, good. Sink that knee down, you can stretch out that front leg if you'd like. And then you're gonna switch those legs. Going into that runner's lunge on the other side, hands on either side of that toe, and you're bending and extending. Good, all the way. Good, you've got it. Think about really keeping it strong all the way as you're switching those legs. Thinking about, I want you to see my leg here. Think about staying as tall as possible when I bend and extend. Good, get length through that leg, length through that toe, everything all the way. Just using those arms as stability. Maybe your pinkies are just into the ground. Roll those shoulders back. And two, we're gonna pull that chest up just like before. And it's a bend and extend. Good, bend and extend. Feeling everything work through the quads, through the glutes, you've got it. Feeling that whole movement that entire time. And then we're gonna move that leg again. Same thing, staying again, rolling those shoulders back, using that opposite leg. Feeling it come up to the left side, and the right side of your mat, you've got it. Good. So again, if you're on this side, whichever leg you use to start, you've got it. You're holding it, just bouncing it from the left and to the right. Good. Got it. Feeling that fire through that quad. Good. This is our last full on leg exercise of this workout today. Good. Try to keep that knee as stacked as possible. Even though it's hard to feel it in that back of the leg, keep moving. It's three, two, one. Good, and bring both knees down. Come in, sink them out, relax through those quads. Give them a little bit of a break. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna roll onto our back for dead bugs today. So if you have weights, this is your chance to use them. If you don't have weights, that is fine. Knees stack right at 90 degrees. Arms go straight up into the sky. I'm gonna move my opposite arm and my opposite leg. So I'm holding here, keeping those knees steady, extending my left leg and my right arm, bringing everything back to center, and then opposite. So I'm focused on keeping my core, pushing my low back into the ground. I don't wanna let it arch up to the sky. So if I have to, I press it down into the ground and then extend. So maybe I can't extend my arm and my leg as far. That's okay, that's fine. I want you to focus on using that core, maintaining that ability to press it down. Good, you've got it. So you're extending that left arm and the right leg. Good, and then switch. Same thing, extending, trying to keep that arm directly over that shoulder, those hips and those knees directly in line. If you have weights, here's how it looks. You're just using that same movement, just a little bit more challenging, a little bit weighted. Good. And good, you've got it. Keep working all the way, moving through that whole positioning, feeling your core engaged, trying to challenge yourself to get longer each and every time. Come back to center, it's that same movement. Use that core, use that low back, those hip flexors, Everything's working together. You've got it. Again, all the way. Pressing as far as you can, getting as much length through the spine. Good. 
Now we're gonna come back to center and we're gonna extend both arms and legs out at the same time. So my legs push out to 45 degrees, my arms come back behind my ears. So it looks like this as I extend out and then back to center. It's out and center. Good, press. Added challenge, you can always roll your shoulders up off the mat as you press out and center. Out, good. If it's too challenging for you to press your legs out long, keep them straight, you can always bend them or open those hips up, externally rotate. You've got it. Just press again all the way out. Good, you've got two more and then we're gonna hold it out. Hold it on that banana pose, hold it long. If you haven't already, lift the shoulders up off the ground, hold as long as possible. We've got five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good, bring those knees into the chest. We've got two more exercises before we finish out with class today. Starting off with a jackknife crunch. Legs go long, trying to keep those legs as long as possible. I hover my left leg just above the ground. My right leg comes up just above the sky and I'm gonna reach behind the hamstring, pull my shoulders, my chest, my head, everything up off the ground. And then I'm gonna switch and then switch and switch. Good, rolling up, trying to get as much height through my chest as possible as I reach past that leg. So if I can, that's okay. And if it's too much, it's too challenging to reach behind the hamstring, Take your hands behind your head, that's okay. As you reach, reach. Maybe you need to bend the knees, that's okay. As long as you're reaching and trying to get that bottom leg as low as possible so it hovers just above the ground, that left leg as long and strong as possible, and then switch. Good, switch. Try to fight for each centimeter of inch, each height, all the way, you got it. You want pulling. We're gonna add in an actual pull now on that next one. I want you to grab and pull it into your chest. Switch, pull it into your chest. Good, think about really curling, trying to bring my face to that knee as close as possible. And then switch again, pull it up, pull it up. Good, you've got it. We're almost out to the end of class today. So keep fighting. Good, we're gonna hold that left leg down on the next one. Hold it down and just reach it up. Just little pulses. Think about just pulsing all the way, reaching those hands past that knee. Just keep reaching. Little baby pulses, you're barely pulling your chest and your shoulders off the ground. You've got it. Reach just behind that knee. Good. Good, and then switch. Same thing, left side. Again, pulling just your shoulder up off the ground, reaching past that knee. Trying to get as high as possible. Little pulses, good, you've got it. 10 seconds, what we're gonna do, we're gonna finish it out, full range, reach behind, you've got it, all the way, finish it out, left, right, all the way, figure all those scissors, full range, pulling, reaching, stretching, all the way, using all those muscles of the core. We've got one last exercise, we've got frog sit-ups, so just pretend that you are a pair of scissors reaching as far as possible and switch. You've got 10 seconds and then we're switching to the last exercise of class. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Take those knees, hug them into the chest. This is our last exercise. We're taking the bottoms of the feet, pushing them together opening those knees up wide as far as they can go. We're gonna roll all the way back down. If you have weights, here's where I challenge you to use them. If you don't, that's okay as well. So I'm taking those weights, I'm reaching all the way to my toes, sitting up tall, pressing open with those hips, and then controlling it all the way back into center. It's a full sit up, reaching past those toes. If you don't have weights, you're reaching and touching the toes, and that mat on the other side, coming all the way down. Full sit up and down. If that's too challenging or your abs are just not having it today, that's okay. You can just take little pulses here. If you need your hands behind your head for support, that's fine as well. Just opening up through that hip flexor. We are almost done today. Whether you're here 
or you're on the ground, you're pressing down with those knees, pressing those feet together. We are almost to the very end of class today. Good, you've got it, reach all the way. Good, we've got one added challenge to end class today. So keep reaching all the way. And on that next one, I want you to pull those knees up, keep the palms together. And this time I'm reaching through my knees, through to the very end of class today. Extend, good. Keep those palms together, those flats in the bottoms of the feet, pressing, opening up the hip, good. It's all the way through. Good, you've got it. You've got 10 seconds, guys. We're finishing out class. All the way is five, four, three. Good, you've got it. Two, and last one. Good, and then bring those knees down. Good work. Take just a second to stretch out through that core. We'll roll over onto our back. Come into a little bit of cobra, legs are long, pressing into the ground, taking that big stretch all the way through, reaching over that shoulder, feeling that twist through the spine, through the core. Deep breath, come back to center, and switch to the other side. Good, and then bring those knees in, come back into child's pose, open the hips up, Sink down. And then take that left leg, we're gonna bring it into that right pinky. So as that left foot comes over onto my left hand pinky, I'm just gonna reach open to the sky, big twist through the spine. An option to pick that back knee up and stretch out that hamstring, stretch out that hip flexor. Good. Coming back down, walk it back and switch that right hand and that right pinky that come together and then opening up through, feeling that chest, everything stretch out today. Option to keep that back knee up off the ground if you need to, it can always come to the ground. Good, and one last downward facing dog to finish our class. Pedal out those knees if you need to. And then drop those knees and finish off into child's pose today, guys. Great work. Don't you just love adding a prop like a chair? It's such a simple add-on to make an already challenging workout more challenging. Of course, I wanna know how your workout went in the comments below. Did you need the modifications? Did you take the added challenges? Let me know so I can build the perfect workout for you. And of course, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single workout each week. Have a great day.